a few moments later. But I'm doing me right now. And whoever yeah, sees me sees me on some real shit. Like they see my heart, they see my my they see my yeah. real truth. I'm not faking it. I'm not putting it in other ways. Real I'm just talk. putting myself out there. And if y'all feel me, that means that you feel yourself. Because if you feel yourself, that means that you feel me. 100. I'm just being myself right now. Hey, my nigga Brian, it couldn't be better. You that's feel me? Fact, hey. <laughs> Yo, that's the question that I, I think a lot of people have, bro. What is like to like smoke, bro? And even though I never been someone who never smoked, and you know, I know there's some people that have never smoked before. Like, what is like to be lit? Like, I when I just want to talk a little bit about my experience. And my okay. experience, I feel like I feel good. I feel a little mellow. I feel like I'm chilling. I feel like I'm in the vibe right now. Like, especially when I mix it a little bit with the drink. I feel, feel like, like I'm, it enhances yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like it enhances it. But I, I realize it's just not for me. Like, okay. I tried it, and it's just not for me. What it feels like for you? I mean, for me, like, you know, I feel like... It just keeps me like calm, you know, like lets me like deepen my perspectives of things. Like, you know, sometimes if you drink it dark, you know, and smoke it weed, like it, it'll probably put you to bed. Like I ain't even gonna lie, like pause, no ditty, you know, but like it'll put you to bed because it's just like two downers and stuff like that. I, I think because I've been smoking for so long, you know, I already kind of know like the mechanics of it, like what not to smoke, what to smoke during people, around people, stuff like that. So you feel me? You know we've been doing this for a minute, big. I'm gonna tell y'all the real truth. We've been doing it for a couple of years. And at first it was hitting me right, like I was able to be good. But after a couple of years, like it was hitting me in a way like if I had to sit down and had this conversation, I couldn't be right. For me, it created so much problems that I realized it wasn't for me. If not, I would have smoked it, my guys, because I had fun doing it. But he's right, though. He said, it's like, you got to know if it's for you, right? Yeah, you got to know if it's for you, and don't feel bad if it's not for you. You feel me? Certain things I can't do that probably you could do. Like, you feel me? It's just a way of life. Like, you know, not every everything is for everybody, and everybody should just be right with that, you know? And at the end of the day, it takes you, like, you know, I congratulate you because it takes you a lot of discipline, you feel me, from going and liking and smoking weed, hanging out, chilling out, vibing out in your own zone. And, like, you feel me, like, being around it and stuff like that, like, you feel me, it takes a lot of discipline, so you're doing your thing, you feel me, bro? Nah, thank you, bro. I appreciate it because, like, it does take discipline to realize, like, that's not for you, and... Uh, I love smoking, man. I I was still rolling one for my shorty. I, I I was still rolling for my shorty if I'm chilling with my shorty. You feel me? But I just won't smoke because it's like I realize it's not for me. And it did take a lot to just step back and realize maybe I had to just see what's for me. And it was a little drink. I'm not drinking every day, but if I'm gonna get with my guys and they're gonna smoke and drink, then I'm just gonna drink, and that's okay. Nobody's gonna judge you, my guy. And if they judge you, that's not your friends. So At the end of the day, fuck people's opinions, you feel me? You live your own life, bro. Live your life, you feel me? Do what you want to do. Like, if the content thing, do what you want to do. You want to smoke, you want to drink, you want to go out, live your life, do what you want to do, you feel me? Just do it responsibly. But you feel me? Just do what you want to do. Don't go broke doing what you want to do, but do what you want to do. Yo, yo. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I have a little crush, bro, and she's so fire. Like, I wish I could get it to my crush or Holly. Mm -hmm. hey. Yo, I wanna know, bro, when you have a crush, right? Like, how do you, how do you step forward? Like, how do you be like, yo, as me, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to get to you because you're looking fire right now. Like, there's a, there's, there's a few shorties, but you right there, you right there, I got to get it. What do you do when you have a crush, my guy? No, I feel doing? like it depends, like, the scenario, you feel me, my bro? What type of scenario we're talking about? Like, if it's a party or I, I met shorty in the street, the train or some shit, like, what, what, what type of scenario you do you put in there? Uh, maybe a scenario where y'all friends and y'all hanging out. 
Or if we friends are hanging out, I mean, if we click it, we click it. Like, two mutual people could tell, like, you know, like, damn, I'm feeling him, and I think he feeling me, like, you feel me, some type of shit. Okay, okay, I see, I see, Like, I see. yeah, there's, like, swag, you feel me, the way to talk. I just feel like it's so normal for me. I guess being from New York, that's the way I be thinking. Like, like I already just talk to them in a nice way, you feel me? I don't talk disrespectful, you feel me? And if a girl rejects you, she rejects you, man. Like, you feel me? Sometimes you got to hit no in life. You got to learn how to take her out. Yo, that reminds me. Yo quiero tirar un maldito party. Yo quiero tirar un party from back then. Because nobody's partying no more. Everything is dead. I'm like, what's up with niggas, no bro? Parties in everything New York. Is, yo, no parties everything is New dead, York. my brother. Like, what's up with everybody? I want to throw a fucking party. You <laughs> have a rose party. Lucid Dream is party. True yo. Man. We gotta get it, bro. That yo, yo, just be, just be patient for that. I promise that we gonna throw a fucking party back then. Party, we gonna grind, we gonna whine, we gonna do all of that. But yo, I got a question. Bringing back to the party days. I'm Dominicano, my nigga. I'm Dominicano. Puro no. plata, no. Hey, bro. Puro plata, no. Puro plata, no, my brother. Puro plata, no. Eight two nine, eight oh nine, two one two, man. Two one two, and why? Yo, yo, bro. I wanna know, bro. Like, being a Dominican here in New York, what's the experience that you feel like you go through? as maybe somebody black or white or Chinese? Like, what's that experience like, bro? I mean, I, I feel like it, it's all relatable in some such. So the certain experiences that you experience in New York, I will feel like it's just um like establishing connections and keeping them, you know, because in New York it's so high speed and people are moving so fast and opportunities are opening up and closing up as fast. So I just feel like, you know, People tend to, you know, after they level up, distance themselves because things are just moving so fast, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand you. Is that because we're from New York, though? I, I do feel like it, it is because we from New York, you know, like in New York, look, it's not even the city that never sleeps. Like, bro, we could go outside right now and we could get into whatever. We yeah. could get into whatever. We could go hit the club, and that's what we try to do. We could go catch a movie. We could go catch something to eat. It could be 3 a.m., and we could do that. There's people working. Like, you know, and people be touched up out here, man. Like, people come to New York to get that dollar, to get that money. So as a Dominican, like, you feel me? Like, that's where I was kind of raised and seeing and knowing. Like, you know, we come over here to get this money to set for a better life. Yo, you remind me of Thanksgiving by myself because it's like I had to step back and really get to the money and get really get to the bag and really get to the things that I wanted to do. I had to step back from family and get into what I really wanted to do. Not because I couldn't be with them, but because I had to do what I needed to do just because it's like That's I need to get to the bag. And one day is going to be different where I have the bag and I could be with them because I'm sure if I asked, my family would be like, nigga, I'll pay this for you. I could do this for you. Just be here. But I'm at a point where, like, I feel like I'm a king. And I don't, it's not that I wouldn't like you for do, to do those things, but I would like, I would like to do those things for myself. So now that I know of that knowledge, I know that I could do better. And I just want to get to that place where I could do better for myself and my family. And I'm glad to have this conversation with you, bro, because niggas is lit. And Maybe, I feel like, you know, yo, you, that gives you a lot of, like, self-perspective, like, that little move you did, you feel me, spending Thanksgiving on your own. Like, just to, like, look at yourself, you feel me, to see, like, what is it? Like, if I will be by myself, you feel me, like, how what would I, like, spend it, you know? Like, how would I make myself feel appreciated and stuff like that? So you feel me, it's not like for people to think that, that that's bad, spending a holiday by yourself. Sometimes it's always good to show yourself like the love too, you feel me, on yourself, self-love and stuff like that, working on that. You said, you're saying like, if some somehow you go through a situation where you by yourself 
and you was dealing with a holiday or something happened where you by yourself and you realize that it makes you stronger because you by yourself and you're like, damn, this really happened to me. Or you get to have that time by yourself, even though everybody else in the world seems to be with their family, but you by yourself. And I like That's what, what it reminds to, me of yeah. as, you talk to, as you talk about that. Like, like, also, like, to not even feel that way. Like, you feel me? Like, to not feel that type of sadness or, like, negative emotion. Like, just to feel, you feel me? Like, it's a good day. It's like, or if it's Christmas, it's Christmas. Like, you know, like, it's not, it's not nothing out of the ordinary. Like, you know, you will probably FaceTime your loved ones and stuff like that. But, like, you can make that day all about yourself, you know? Sometimes we need that. Sometimes we're working so hard on other things, on others, to maintain things, so... Yeah, yeah. That's another way to look at it. Yeah, bro. For sure, for sure. Look, I got a little more to put in my cup. Right. It's Saturday night. We having fun. I got my nigga Brian here. It's V. Piper V. Rose. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You feel me? So we're going to leave y'all to it, you know. Thank you for, for being here, bro. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody who be fucking pressuring me to, like, go do more. Like, subscribe oh, be and myself, like you be putting myself, I be putting myself in that situation. Like, I got to get it. And then I see it from my friends and my family. Like, yeah, yo, 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 we here, we see it. So I got to be out. So I see y'all guys. I love y'all. Subscribe and like. You heard me, <laughs> Piper V Rose. A few moments later. Who knows how to dance bachata? Who knows how to dance merengue? We in it, baby. Yeah. I need a couple of dance, salsa dance. Donde están esos amigos que le decía que la buena se la malas. Y hasta Cotavera, bro. Ay, sí.